he's get off me. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It wasn't the best. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Igor, you've got some audacity. He's acting like he didn't just tell his fiance he's been unfaithful. He's acting completely baffled, like he doesn't understand what's going on. Don't worry, I'm here for you, says the man that caused all of the pain in the first place. I'm here. I'm here with you. <laughs> Now, before we dive into Igor's act of innocence and where this leaves their relationship, let's rewind to the beginning. So, we left the pair in the last episode, with Igor admitting that he'd been sleeping with other people right up until he and Nikki got engaged. Friendly sex, he called it. But while he was acting like this is completely natural and a normal thing to do, when we join them in this episode, understandably, Nikki is freaking out. Before I get engaged with Nikki, I had some of, like, sex friend. This is like physically needed stuff simple. Look at how genuine Igor's face is. He truly believes he's done nothing wrong and he can't understand why Nikki is upset. It's just friend sex. <laughs> he stands by the fact that the minute a ring was involved, the minute he claims it got serious, that's when he stopped having casual sex. But Nikki is having real trouble accepting that it took an engagement before Igor decided to take their relationship seriously. But I don't think uh, Nikki and I ever had a conversation about when we're beginning. Um, even if he's right, that still feels like a cop-out. It feels like a weak excuse. You see, Nikki reveals that by the time they got engaged, she'd already applied for the K-1 visa. So that means that Igor was still sleeping around, knowing that he was on his way to America to get married. Yeah, that's not cool. You've got to question how seriously he was taking that prospect of marriage. But how do you explain that that's wrong to a man who seems completely dumbfounded by this situation? Why get off me? What's, What's, wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It wasn't the best. What's wrong with you? In the past, Igor, mate, you were in a relationship with Nikki when this was all happening. In Nikki's eyes, they were firmly together. They were planning their life together. They were going on vacations. She was sending him money to help him out. But Igor just isn't getting it. I want to go home. No, baby. I'm, I'm not doing this engagement. This, for me, means nothing. Eagle's trying to tell Nikki that the women he slept with didn't mean anything to him. But that just isn't the point, is it? Now, he goes on to say that now that Nikki is physically by his side, that means everything to him. But what that really sounds like is that while Nikki was in America, she meant nothing to him. At least, that's how Nikki hears it. You I mean are nothing. here. I mean nothing. No, you are here physically. I mean nothing to you. Nikki clearly isn't in a state of mind to hear Igor's excuses. And to be honest, it's a little difficult to understand what his point is. But even though she's threatening to end the engagement, I can't help but wonder whether Nikki will just cave in, whether she'll end up accepting this because she's so scared of being alone. People like me, you know, with a past like mine, don't have many options, and especially with a good looking person. That's very self-defeating talk, isn't it? She's clearly carrying a lot of baggage here. It's almost as if she doesn't truly believe that she's worthy of him. She considers herself very, very lucky to be with him. And this is very interesting to watch, because this is a totally different side to her that we haven't really seen before. She's always presented herself as so confident, so sure of herself, so willing to walk away. But deep down, that seems to have all been a facade, an alter ego. The real Nikki is deeply insecure. Where does that leave me if we break up or end our engagement? And I don't know. I don't know. 
It's interesting how Nikki begins to take off her engagement ring, only to seemingly stop and change her mind. She says she wants to go home, so the pair go back to their hotel room. They begin to pack their luggage in a very awkward silence, but Nikki's tears, her uncertainty, very soon turns to anger. She begins to focus on the topic that she hasn't been able to shake off since she arrived. Why is it that the man who seems so keen to have casual sex doesn't want to sleep with his fiance? Now I know why you don't want to make love to me. What? Your version? <sighs> Honey, it's fine. What version? I want to hear. Look, it's definitely fair to say that we've judged Nikki in the past for how pushy she's been about sex. There's no doubt that her sexual aggressiveness is a red flag. But the fact that Igor's been looking elsewhere to get his satisfaction does kind of put that into a new light. Was Nikki right all along? And more to the point, how can she be sure that her fiancé isn't still lying? How does she know that he is now committed to her? It's different if you make an agreement. You know, we have an open relationship while we're doing this, you know, this whole process. You could do you, I do me. No, that was never discussed. Nikki's right. If Igor had physical needs, as he puts it, he should have had a clear conversation with Nikki before just going ahead and sleeping with with multiple people. Like, surely he knows this was wrong. Surely that's why it's taken so long for this to all come to light. He's been hiding it. He's known that it would hurt her. Surely. I'm feeling like I'm as where? You and from feel, where? I feel like you, you think I'm as You are. Her face is screaming, yeah, you think? <laughs> like, whether it's the language barrier or not, these two have some very real communication issues if Igor still isn't sure that he's f***ed up. I don't know, maybe Nikki hasn't been clear about it one-to-one -one with him. She definitely has been clear with the camera crew, but it seems like Igor still doesn't quite understand. Perhaps she really does need to sit him down and walk him through why this makes him an asshole. I don't feel bad because I told some truth and I'm opening for everybody. I tell my friends and my parents, Nikki Strauss. Now, in his mind, the fact that he's been open with his friends and family about Nikki being trans should be a big enough gesture to prove that he loves her. And sure, while that argument might have some merit, it doesn't give him a free pass to cheat on her. But therein lies the confusion. Igor doesn't see it as cheating. Why? Well, because they never actually defined when their relationship began, he says. I'm mm, like black, white no. position. You you life. Up. That's it. You the up. colors. Yes? You they are what? It's fine. You. Igor has this terrible habit of having a poetic or a philosophical take on things when Nikki really isn't in the mood. She's upset. She's angry. She just wants him to take ownership. She really doesn't want to hear his crap about the different colours of life. Maybe it's just the way he's learnt to speak English. But when you're in the middle of an argument, I can see how infuriating that would be. And right now, Nikki is done beating around the bush. Igor can't go on pretending like he didn't know that they were in a committed relationship. You knew we were already serious in Mexico. Maybe in your head. You don't think that applying for a K-1 visa, hiring an uh, immigration attorney for us, that's not serious? How exactly is he going to defend that one away? How can he possibly pretend that he didn't think they were serious when at the same time they were going through the process of getting a K-1 visa? A visa that clearly states your intention to get married. He knows that Nikki's won this argument. She's just blown a hole in his defence. And he suddenly becomes very eager to change subject. Can we, uh, this situation, uh, drop in the garbage? If I drop nowhere. the situation in the garbage, you're going along with it. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to sweep this all under the carpet, because that would be what's easiest for him. But unfortunately, he's opened a can of worms, and this issue isn't just going to go away so easily. Now, for the time being, Nikki doesn't want to make any drastic decisions in anger. She wants to go back to their apartment and give herself some thinking time. 
because right now there's a lot of things going on in her head. There's a lot of things she has to work through. I was already investing so much in my relationship with him and then for him to not say it was like serious enough for him. It makes me question everything at this point. She's right to question everything. She's right to wonder whether he's still seeing someone else. So the question now is, which version of Nikki are we now going to see? Loud and proud, see ya, I don't need ya, Nikki, or the Nikki that thinks Igor might be the best she'll ever get.